Good evening. <clears throat> Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can I get a motion to approve tonight's agenda? Rob, second Tom. Any discussion or questions? Nope. All in favor? 6 0. Hey, Mr. Poole, Superintendent's report. Good evening, President Anderson. Welcome, everybody. So i um, happy to happy to share that the first day of school uh, for students is September 1st, which is next Thursday. Uh, kindergarten through eighth grade schedules and assignments were made available today in the parent portal. High school schedules will be available on Friday. And I do anticipate that the bus stop schedules will be available in the parent portal beginning on, on Friday. Um, want to note too that I am sure that all are aware, uh, but I want to share that the New York State Department of Health uh, in collaboration with the New York State Education Department, advised families and schools yesterday that there are no COVID-19 mandates for schools this year. Please know, though, that as has always been the case, our schools and nurses will continue to work with families to ensure that students that are ill, contagious, uh, stay home uh, as always and in years past and recover before coming back to school. I want to take a moment to remind everyone that the start and end times have shifted from last year at, at the Prodell Middle School and Wading River and Miller Avenue schools. The middle school will begin at 8.02 a.m. and end at 2.30 p.m. Both Wading River and Miller Avenue will begin at 9.15 a.m. and end at 3.15 p.m. And the high school times remain the same from last spring, uh, which is a 7.20 a.m. start time and a 2.10 p.m. Uh, end of the school day. Uh, our staff have been hard at work over the summer to ensure that we are set to have a great first day of school and a great school year. I want to thank all of them for their efforts. We are looking forward to having our students return uh, for the 2022-23 school year. A lot of great programs the community supported in the budget that are new this year, such as the middle school nine period day, uh, elementary librarian uh, program, and the addition of the new outdoor learning environments. It's going to be a fantastic uh, school year. The first day of school for staff is August 31st, and staff will attend professional development, participate in building meetings, and training topics this year include safety and security and mental health uh, professional development. And this year, uh, thankful for the Suffolk County Sheriff's Office, who will be joining all of our district staff on August 31st to present to staff uh, strategies for responding to emergencies. And I thank them for providing this service. Just a couple of notes from across our buildings. Uh, over at the high school, a few of our musicians, senior James Wick, junior Lucas uh, Portese, and senior Ryan O'Shaughnessy have been performing in Italy this summer with the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra and Choir. Uh, these select groups feature the top musicians from across Nassau and Suffolk counties to participate on the tour. James, a percussionist, and Lucas, a double bass player, performed in the orchestra while Ryan sang as a tenor in the choir. For nearly two weeks, they toured various regions of Italy with scheduled performances across Italy. Uh, the choir even had the chance to sing at Mass uh, at the Vatican. Uh, they represent each one of the Shoreham Reading River High School music groups, our band, orchestra, and chorus, uh, and they did an amazing job representing our school, uh, community, and uh, uh, county and country across uh, Italy. So congratulations uh, to them. I have had the pleasure of seeing some of those pictures across social media, uh, at least of one of the students, and um, just an amazing job by them. So congratulations to those students. Uh, over at the middle school, I know the schedules were shared today with all students. Uh, like the rest of the buildings, the outdoor learning space uh, work is progressing, along with other capital work. Uh, the sixth grade walkabout is scheduled for Tuesday, August 30th from 12 to 2, and students will be able to come to the building and follow their schedules and become familiar with the layout of the building. And just a note, uh, there has been some uh, work towards enhancing the front of the building. Uh, a, a sprinkler system has been installed. Uh, some post and rail fence um, is underway. The facade uh, is on schedule. I'm not sure if that work has started yet, uh, same as the high school, but some uh, enhancements in work has been happening over at the front of the middle school. Over at Wading River, um, new parent orientation will take place for Wading River families on Tuesday, August 30th at 10 a.m. Uh, the grade three play date will take place on Tuesday, August 30th at 3.33 p.m., where students will have a chance to meet their classmates, uh, go to their classrooms, and enjoy the playground together. Uh, and at Miller Avenue on Monday, 
August 29th, incoming kindergarten students will be able to visit Miller Avenue, meet their classmates, tour the school, ride a school bus, and meet with uh, Mrs. Smith. Uh, sports, the season is underway. Hard to, hard to believe that. Practices are underway. Games will be coming up very, very quickly. And finally tonight, I'm going to welcome uh, Park East, Mr. Derek Natz, who will give the Board of Education an update on the capital projects that are underway uh, over the summer. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, Mr. Poole. Uh, next up is uh, Mr. Derek Natz from Park, C Park East for the capital project update. All right, good evening. Thank you for having me uh, this evening. Uh, tonight's update is for the month of August. So we're going to start with the program summary, work progress for August, projected work for September, and then just some progress photos of uh, what's taken place over the last month. We're starting with the uh, program summary. Uh, there was two bathrooms renovated at Prodell Middle School. Uh, ceiling and lighting at Prodell Middle School, five classrooms and the majority of the hallways. Prodell Middle School and Wading River Elementary School, partial roof recodings. Uh, high School Wrestling Building and Wading River Elementary School, partial roof replacements. And then the outdoor learning environments at all buildings. So starting with Prodell Middle School bathroom renovations, they completed the new wall and floor tile installations. They installed a new ceiling grid and light fixtures, installed the new sinks and toilets, painted all the walls. Uh, they're awaiting the bathroom partitions. I've been in communication with the district with regards to these. They're supposed to come in the first week of September. Uh, if they're not in before school, the district plans to use those bathrooms as single occupancy. Uh, we have commitments from the contractor that when they do arrive, they'll be installed immediately thereafter. It's just a one-day install. Cordell Middle School, the ceilings lighting upgrades and HVAC modifications by Renew. They completed the install of the ceiling grid throughout. Uh, the installation of the ceiling tiles is 90% complete. They plan to complete the remaining 10% tomorrow. They installed all the light fixtures and lowered some of the existing fixtures for the hallway ceilings. They're installing the HVAC diffusers tomorrow. Final uh, cleaning of the spaces is scheduled for this Thursday. Fordell Middle School and Wading River Elementary School, partial roof recoding, related services was the contractor. They completed the new roof coding systems, uh, did a general roof cleaning, uh, starting to demobilize. Their only remaining scope is the walkway pads, which they're working with your architect right now to go on the layout where those are going to be placed. Again, that's only a couple days once they uh, finalize where they're going to go. They have that material. And the final inspection is scheduled for September 6th with the, to get your full warranties. The high school wrestling building and Wading River Elementary School, partial roof replacements, more roofing. They started this month and completed the removals and install of the new roofing systems. Um, the installation of new skylights are projected for mid-September. The installation of a new roof hatch is also for mid-September. They are 100% watertight, uh, and they're in the midst of final cleaning and demobilization over there. The outdoor learning em environments, uh, starting with the high school, Land Tech. Um, they're completing the concrete. They put in the little reading area, and they plan to start the footings tomorrow that uh, carry the sails. And then the stamped concrete will follow behind that. Uh, the turf ins installation will follow the stamped concrete. They are running a little bit behind. We have asked for them to start working overtime, work the weekends. Uh, they have committed to increasing manpower. They're committed to having this pretty much done before students get in. Uh, there is a possible chance if we get some rain in the next few days, it's, it's all weather contingent, that it may run into the school year. Uh, if it does, we have been speaking with the, uh, 
with the school and they have provisions that the contractors will either work weekends or work nights as to not interfere with the daily activities of the school. But we're really hoping to put a big push on them to limit whatever work they have to do after the 1st of September. I just got news tonight that the ornamental fence came in today. That was something that was uh, delayed and it came in sooner than anticipated. So the intent is to get that ugly construction fence down and the ornamental fence up before students arrive next Thursday. Middle School and Miller Ave, Gatz was the contractor, installing all the new concrete, uh, grading and seeding. They feel both of those schools will be 100% for the start of school, short of the pavilions. The pavilions and furniture are slated to arrive mid to late October, and they take about a week to install. Uh, American Rec is the company providing those pavilions, and Petinelli is providing the furniture for those areas. Uh, the furniture is also slated to come the beginning, middle of October. Work plan for September, outdoor learning environments. Uh, we have here Gats to complete Wading River Elementary School concrete. Again, we're really pushing to have that all done before students come. Uh, if it's not accomplished, the plan is to work nights and weekends to complete that scope. Uh, we're gonna continue to verify with American Rec for the pavilions and sales that uh, those are on track and coming out for mid-October. Pet and Alley with the furniture. Again, we're just going to keep tracking them and making sure that that furniture stays on track to come out here for the beginning of October. The middle school bathrooms, uh, installing the toilet partitions once they come in, first week of September. Punch list and closeout documents will follow right behind that. Um, Perdell Middle School, Waiting River Elementary School, punch list and closeout, and the installation of the walkway pads. High School Wrestling Building, Wading River Elementary School. They're going to have the skylights, the roof hatch, and there's some minor brick repair that will take place uh, in September. And then they'll also provide punch lists and close out. Here's some photos of uh, the roof work. This is uh, Prodell Middle School. The left photo is before they started, and the right photo is after they started. So you can see the, the black. Changing to the white, the white is a new roofing material. This is Wading River Elementary School, roof recoding. Again, left photos before, right photos after. High school wrestling building, left photo before, right photo after. This was a small section of Wading River Elementary School that was completed by Moore. Uh, again, left photo before, right photo after. Prodell Middle School, ceiling replacements. Uh, Renew was a contractor. Both left photos of the ceilings, that's the new grid. Right photo shows the grid up in the hallways. The top right photo is one of the new art rooms that was renovated. And that has been since painted. I believe it was painted today, so it's no longer that green and blue. Cordell Middle School. These are the two bathrooms I referenced earlier. These photos were from last week. Since then, the tiles have been in. The only thing remaining besides the partitions is a final cleaning and some touch-up paint that will happen this week. This is the last photo. Um, the left photo, top left is Purdue Middle School before with the trees, same area down below on the left side is, uh, that's probably a week old as well. There's been substantial progress since that photo has taken place. The remaining concrete for that building will be completed tomorrow. Top right is the high school, just, uh, with the grass stripped and the bottom right is, uh, the work that they completed up until about two days ago. Any questions? How, uh, how many, what is the occupancy of the bathrooms? I can't tell if it's two or three um, for Prodel. They are currently gang um, uh, bathrooms so that there are enough space for up to four um, 
uh, students in it. Four. Okay. Yes, there are currently a, um, a monitor stationed outside those uh, particular bathrooms, which is a standard practice there. So having them single occupancy for um, for what we we believe will be Thursday and um and um uh, Friday only does not after speaking to the building principal should not impact the um uh, daily activity there. Um, the reason why we are going that route as opposed to using any type of temporary part partitions having having done temporary partitions previous previous um Ali, the damage to 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 where the brackets are in in installed compared to where the final um, brackets go it was just too much work patchwork um, no, for okay. a uh, anticipated mm -hmm. two days, days. Yeah. we just think it is a better um, product when you mentioned there there's a monitor outside the bathroom that this may or may not affect use of the bathroom is it because are they are they restricting use of the bathroom to through single use? No. Or, okay. We just always have it to see what they're, it's a middle school. How long are they in there? How many kids are in there? That's basically it. It's just a stand. And it's a hallway monitor. So I, they aren't bathroom monitors, but where they're part, where they are positioned, it is a right in front of one of the pods, which is right where the bathroom doors are. So they do serve multiple purposes for us. Will we have a temporary lock on that door? They, they will have temporary um, doors, temporary locks that are fully op operational. The um, uh, permanent doors are anticipated the middle of September. I believe you have a 20 year warranty with this roof system. Uh, I can confirm that it's at least 20 years. Other it's questions? important to point out for that middle school roof as well as the high school roof since since we did not wait to the original warranty for, to um, uh, expire, we were eligible to do a recoding project, have the representative come out throughout the process, confirm we are following the right steps. Park East made those um, a, a, a arrangements for the um, inspections, and then it's been working out great. So this is the most economical way to keep the roof system warrantied as well as the buildings dry. Can you just clarify um, about the outdoor furniture? That's just for the high school, correct? It is. Okay. There was a, when, when um, uh, Mr. Nat said for all four buildings, that is only for the high school furniture. Okay. And in, in regards to the work that they're pending at the high school for the, the exterior um, patio or, or outdoor area, um, no issues. I know there's some. There's been some past sensitivity with concrete work uh, at you know, entering the high school. So rushing it or doing it, you know, in a quick manner, we're not going to have any, you know, issues with uh, curing times or settling underneath. You know, obviously, Glenn's aware of the issues we've had with no, the front steps. So we just want to make sure that even though they're they're rushing, they're working double time, they're working nice. We just, we still want the quality there. Yes, and we we agree with that, and we're. You know, making sure that the quality we're not this, we're not jeopardizing tests. quality. They're doing for speed. all the tests and inspections, right? They're not. Yep. And it looks uh, good out there over at um, Prudhoe Middle School. There's some areas that need some touch up just from the formwork, but the contractors have been notified, and they're going to be addressing some of the visual uh, items that we noticed. Nothing structural. Everything else is all the concrete breaks have been coming back good and. Again, they're not jeopardizing right. quality for speed. How often does BBS come out to do a visual inspection? Are they out often? Mm -hmm. They are. Minimum Thursdays, but they have been out two to three times, uh, two to th two to three times weekly. Primarily, they are. Park East has someone here every day at at the bare minimum one to one and a half to two people. Derek comes in whenever Derek comes in. He's always he's a text or a phone call. Away, um, BBS could be a phone call away. Also, they have been out quite often the past week. Is it in their contract to be on site whenever a contract is on site? No, it is in their contract to be part of the weekly construction meetings. No, I'm, I mean Park East, not BBS. Park East. Yeah. They for a contractor that they're overseeing the project. Mm -hmm. There are certain projects going on this particular summer that are outside the scope. 
no, with the um, Marquis. Yeah, I'm award. saying under these projects that that Derek's going through tonight, if if there's a contractor on site, they're they're also on site with them. But they might not say the entire time, but Derek can answer that. I mean, okay. they're always here. Okay. Yes. Okay. When there's a contractor working, we do everything in our power to have someone here while they work. Follow up to the construction that on the school. The cement you said is a problem, or, or do they put a base layer down like that crushed concrete, or how do they do it? Just poured right on the. No, there's a, there's a base of RCA that goes in. That's right. Yeah, so there's a sub base inspection, and there's a RCA base inspection, and then the concrete gets poured on top of that, and that's also inspected. And I assume there's drainage underneath. Correct. All the drainage has been installed, with the exception of Wading River Elementary School, and that's being installed this week. You're welcome. Yeah, the roofs, the roofs look, look great. Yeah, the roof the roof looks great. Yeah. The, the recoding, project. the yeah. timing could not have been better because there was only another year left for that middle school warranty, and they um, ripped out the sections that were saturated of the sub, sub um, a roof area, and it really came out well. It took a lot of uh, time on a lot of people's parts to get them settled and uh, working, but it and that's came a and substantial did their... savings as well to do the roof recoding versus a full roof rip. It's Huge. it's. Probably fifteen dollars a square foot, which is a big portion of uh, a project. What do we have? What just the high school? Yes, we were on top of the high school roof today, and um, we're happy that that is getting done the following summer. Funds are already set aside for that next summer, summer of twenty three. Thank you. Do you? Need, I just have one more question. Do you okay. need the? The wrestling center evacuated in order to do the like the mats protected anything when you do the skylights or is that does is it non invasive in that way? It's it's not invasive. There may be some minor cleanup. We wouldn't do it with students or staff in the space. There could be some minor debris that would come down and need to be swept up. Okay. Uh, but again, they would be doing it at nights or when that building is not occupied, and they would clean up the space after they were done. All right, looks great. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Have just a good a, night. Oh, you have one more question? Just a quick, no, a quick question to Glenn and Jerry, just a general question, but the, all the work we've done on the roofs in you know, the last couple of years, is there any talk about you know, solar arrays, to, you know, now that we have brand new roofs? There, there is always an opportunity for another EPC project for, for more solar. I know at the middle school there was some outdated solar that came off, so that's certainly an opportunity for us to consider moving forward. Certainly the room's there, Glenn, right? Yes. Yeah. Definitely. You but, would not... There has been no consideration until the um, a roof work was finished. Yeah. So we would probably consider it to start to look at designing something school year of 23, 24 to do the summer of 24 the earliest so that the high school could be incorporated because there are 2004 panels on top of the high school also that will be coming off and not being re in, re in, re in, re installed. So we're only putting back the 2017 panels that are on the high school. And how does that work? Does that, and again, not to go off too far off track, but does the district work with the vendor, or do we still have to go through the, the design Work with the vendor directly to, to do what? Like a solar panel vendor. Install. To do an install? Yeah, to do If everything. it's part of an energy performance okay. contract, then it's part of a bidded process that okay. we submit to SED. So I just can't pick our own. No, no, I know. I, no, I was sure yeah. if it was, uh, you know, piggybacking off contracts or in not if it's an EPC. Okay. Does it have to be an EPC? No. But there's tremendous building aid upside to do the EPC. Sorry. Oh, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Derek. Next up, votes and resolutions. Can I get a motion to approve June 7th public session minutes? Tom, second Mike. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six. Just uh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. You could still read if you read them through the minutes. You could still. Is there, yeah. I know we haven't done this in the past. Is it, is it when we have a uh, meeting like this, multiple ones? Can we take them as a block? Probably can. Yeah. Just, I mean, maybe let's. Some of the approvals. Yeah, let's do that. Um, let's. We'll take out the uh, CPSC meeting summary. Uh, can I get a motion to approve B through E, June 22nd, 24, 20, uh, 12th, um, reorg and public session minutes? Tom, 
second Rob. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six zero. You can still That's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah, I got told that. Can I get a motion to approve the CPSE, CSE, and 504 meeting summary memo dated August 10th? Megan, second Rob. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six. Can I get a motion to approve um, the Board of Education resolution 35 through 38? Tom, second Jim. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six zero. Can I get a motion to approve the curriculum instruction resolutions 39 through 40? Did you real quick just sure. on 037? I think it's great. It looks like there's a student. Yes, yeah. The legislative committee. So. Yes, thank you to Timothy Manzello um, for stepping up to volunteer for that position. And um, we do have a new community member, um, <coughs> Jesse Sidewitzburn, as well. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. We always are looking for um, community members to be involved on our committees and appreciate, appreciate it. Um, can I get a motion 39 and 40 uh, curriculum and um, instruction resolution? Jim, second Tom. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six zero. We have two HR resolutions, 41 and 42. Can I get a motion? Tom, second Jim. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six zero. Can I get a motion to approve business and operations resolutions? 43 through... Several, it's a lot. Yeah. 43 through 51. Jim, second Megan. Any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six zero. Can I get a motion to approve tonight's personnel agenda? Tom, second. Mike, any discussion or questions? All in favor? Six zero. We have uh, one communication um, regarding our uh, committees on at the reorg meeting. Stephanie, thank you. Um, so as per the discussion at the July 12, 2022 reorg meeting, the following committee members will be designated to the following committees. The Audit Committee will have Rob, Megan, and Henry. The Space and Facilities Committee will be Henry, Mike, and Jim. Technology Committee will be Megan, Tom, and Jim. Policy Committee will be Megan, Tom, and Katie. Legislative Committee will be Tom, Henry, and Mike. And the Safety Security Committee will be Henry, Mike, and Jim. The liaisons for the curriculum and development committee will be Tom and Katie, and the liaisons for the capital projects will be Mike and Henry. And just to note, the 2017 capital projects committee will be changed to just capital projects. Um, and just aligned with our policy on board committees, uh, Ms. Anderson can fill in at any board committee in place of another trustee in, in the absence. Hey, thank you. Do we have any comments from residents? No. No. Okay. Can I get a motion to um, adjourn the meeting and reconvene to exec to discuss uh, uh, personnel? Tom, second Megan, all in favor? Six, zero.